Hey, what is up guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Zach's Video Reviews, and today I am back with another mail call from Ringside Collectibles. This one's number 26 here on the channel. If you guys haven't checked out any of the mail, mail calls, go check them out. I have a playlist for the uh, mail calls. Uh, I'll leave it in the um, right-hand corner in the card, so go check that out. Uh, also, follow me on IG and here on YouTube at WAFR95. So guys, uh, without further ado, let's crack this open. I've been waiting for this package for about a week already. Um, was super excited when I heard these figures were were dropping, and uh, it was a it was a must to get. So I finally ordered them, thinking that you know they might sell out soon. So I had to jump on it for sure. Uh, they've been up actually in ringside for a while, but um, I think they were still getting processed. So uh they just dropped not too long ago i want to say a couple weeks ago or maybe even uh a week or two since they they became available so i was gonna pre-order but i waited and uh, i'm glad i waited because um there was still a lot of figures left so I might as well so here it is folks this is the figures that i ordered from ringside the uh, Ultimate Edition uh, re-release Wave 1 that includes uh, Triple H and Brett the Hitman Heart. Now let's check this Triple H out. Oh man, the box is... Oh, that's alright. It's not too bad. So these are the re-release of the Ultimate Edition. I believe this is Ultimate Edition 3 if I'm not mistaken. But I do have this figure already. I did a review of the of this figure on the channel. So like it's like one of my earliest videos as well. So make sure to go check it out. I'll try to leave it in the in the link. I'll try to leave the I'll try to leave the link in the description uh for you guys. Uh but if not go find it in the in my in my channel. Uh it should be there. Triple H Ultimate Edition uh full review or something like that. But I do have it loose. Uh and this is gonna go right there behind that loose figure because right now i have the ultimate edition batista as a placeholder for this figure uh if you guys didn't know i am collecting every single ultimate edition that i can um so far from the main line at least uh so far i have them all except the few gaps from the early waves because i started collecting a little bit late um and i just collected a few of them throughout the years and then i actually got into collecting each of them so that's why I have a few gaps and I needed this figure right here because I didn't get it the first time. The Bret Hart Ultimate Edition. Now this uh, was very, uh, like, you know, this this wave was kind of controversial because when they announced that they were going to re-release him, a lot of people went crazy online uh, because this figure is worth some money from the original uh, Bret Hart. Uh, so it's like about a $200 figure maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I'm not really sure, but I think it's an average of a $200 figure, like, online. Uh, so a lot of people were mad that it came out, you know, kind of lost a little bit of value, I believe. Uh, but for, like, people like me who, who didn't get a chance to get them, it's perfect because now I'm able to get two of them. And I can display it perfectly there, uh, on my shelf, since I did miss out the first time. But, uh, I will be opening this figure, though, one of these... To do a review for you guys and obviously put it up in my shelf so that's why i got two of these bret hearts and one of the triple h because i already have one loose um i'll show you guys really quickly he's right there um right where the Balor is and the Shawn michaels so um yeah i'm hoping at least in my opinion i think it's good that they re-release them but maybe um they should really re-release them maybe um with a little bit of a different package maybe so we can tell them apart because i mean I, I don't know who can like if someone can re like sell this and call it an original so i don't know does it say on the back see it still says 2019 mattel so um i don't know i i think it's good to re-release them but i think they would have uh gone a different route and re-released them uh maybe in a different packaging or there was there had to be like some sort of symbol or something that we can tell them apart which one's the original which one's uh, a re-release you know what i mean so yeah guys uh stay tuned for the for the hitman heart uh review i do have more ultimates coming at the time of this recording 
Uh, I don't know if it's going to go up first, but I do have the other Bret Hart from Target exclusive uh, to, to open as well. So I'm not really sure which one's going to go first. But if I've already done it, go check it out. If not, stay tuned for those videos. More Ultimate Editions coming, more Elites, uh, more mail calls for sure. So make sure to go follow my Instagram for more. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.